Just drinking vomit. Just a really big bowl. <laughs> I'll get in soon, that will help. She doesn't know she can go in. She can go in. Look. Look. Come in. Come in. Come in, Vincent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if she was like this with the ocean. This is surprising. Oh, that was deep, huh? Ooh, she always touched the bottom that time. I wanted it once she touches the bottom, she'll be like this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna complain about the fact she's scratching me. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to get the, the yellow thing off. Mm, I thought so. It's not. It's, it, she, she thinks, thinks it's, it's a toy. She's yeah. trying to scrape it up. Look at this. this is what has happened. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she thinks it's a frisbee or something. <laughs> he got that out. <laughs> well done. Are you that? giving her an actual yellow frisbee? It's a frisbee. Is it because it looks exactly like it? Do we have to colour it in with Sharpie? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, it's a bit cold. <laughs> <laughs> don't drown yourself. She's trying to look at it underwater. We don't even need a towel anymore. No towel needed. <laughs> kind of works. <laughs> like, the thought is there. Dad's got a good joke. <laughs> Mum. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a joke for you. What's the difference between jam and jelly? Our conscious steam cleaner kills 99.99% of bacteria. He's supposed to. Jam's made from fruit. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. Fruit extract and water. No, I can't jelly my dick up your ass. <laughs> 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 I was allowed to read it first. <laughs> <laughs> Blake's making jam and peanut butter and gluten free bread so mum can taste it for the first time because she doesn't believe it would taste good. Dad has a fear of jam though, so he can't. Why it's the center? Crunchy jam. <laughs> Damn, I didn't put no peanut butter on it. Oh, I've got Pluma! No, you don't like it? <laughs> oh, the is there any okay. possible way you could taste it or is it like yeah. too irrationally feared? You can oh, do this. I taste a lot like got the jam toast and then the peanut butter kicks in it. Well, you got a good bit of peanut butter there. What do you think? It's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know what you're talking no, about. No, why is the peanut butter kicks in it? No, oh. peanut butter rescues it. <laughs> <laughs> We love it all. The sugar content of that jam. That's, that's mom and dad. They're all doing it too short. Whew. Tiring day, but I feel accomplished. It is 5.30 right now, and from about 11.30 onwards, I was editing my video. There was a lot of problems with the audio, so most of the time was spent just doing file-related stuff, but I was solidly working on it the whole time. Guess what I just did? I just finished. Love Tanya and it probably took me like a year and a half because last year in 2016 I would read a couple of pages and then put it down and not read it for probably three weeks to a couple months. If you guys are a fan of Tanya Burr, I really suggest you go give it a read. It definitely is worthwhile. Sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant buying YouTuber books because it just might not be necessarily for me. It might be more for the younger audience, but this was very appropriate for me. So yeah, I really recommend this for anyone who's my age or young. That's West Patrick. Don't you understand it? <laughs> Don't you understand what it's quoted from? I'm guessing it's Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you would have seen the episode. Yeast. I thought you said yeast. It's already gone so dirty. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. This isn't a good spot because all the leaves are going to fall on. Oh, it's so warm. Yeah. That worked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thought she was going to freak. Yeah, yeah kind of did a little bit. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> Still drinking it as not dirty as a fuck. giant uh, sheets crew though so basically i always film all my youtube videos at night and the reason for that is when i used to film during the day i would notice that my lighting would flicker and change but then when i started filming at night it stopped the reason that i think it affects it is because even when the blinds are closed the light in my room changes as the light outside changes but at the same time i've 
thought about it more and I'm like so many people use natural lighting to film and they don't seem to have too many problems like I know now and then they're like oh the clouds going over but it doesn't seem to be like flickering so I have a feeling it was the settings inside my camera because I have played with them since then since I've started filming at night and it's very possible that it's changed it may work again during the day which will be amazing because filming at night is such a pain I'm usually tired at night and for example this week I'm busy every single night other than one night before I leave for Japan and there's so much pressure that lies on that one night to film and I kind of hate that and I feel like it kind of like makes me anxious thinking about it so today I'm gonna try filming during the day and I'm thinking actually I'm going out with my friends Georgia and Emma tonight to the city and if I fill up for it I may film myself getting ready there's also something I realized recently about my lighting that I really need to sort out when I get back I'm pretty sure the bulbs are slowly dying which I don't know if you can tell but only certain parts of the room look lit up you can tell that some areas still look dark when it used to literally light up my whole room and see how you can kind of, yeah, you can actually see in there not flickering. And me moving is usually what does it. That's why I'm moving so much. Oh my God, it doesn't affect it. That's so good. <gasps> Who is it? Or would they be filming? Or would they possibly be being out here? It's so weird. Life tip, try to not go out on a Monday night because we've gone to two places now after walking like seven blocks and they've both been closed. So we've gone to La Di Dara and then the Carlton up there. This place is really cute. We're getting one drink and then we're probably gonna move on. So here I am at Colour Collections in Frankston with the lovely Roxy. Say hi. Hey! <laughs> and uh, as you can see there, we're um, getting some peroxide in the hair. I'll report back through the progress. Goodbye. So we've made your dad nice and blonde. you got to... Hang on, let me... <laughs> what do you reckon? Yeah. You do blue. <laughs> yeah, now we're going to do blue. Here we go. Yeah, maybe they will. Called the rollerball. It's like our little heater. It's pretty scary stuff. <laughs> I heard earlier that putting peroxide in is um, worse than childbirth, and you know, <laughs> I guess I, I understand that I'm now. Not sure if these are lifetimes or what. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I don't know what's going to happen. This is like the Dyson of hairdressing products. I <laughs> know oh, they already have their hair dried in there. That's right, you got Michelle the Dyson, didn't you? Yeah, so I've actually got no idea what's happening above my head at the moment, but I think I'll just live with it and um, we'll see what happens. It seems to have turned my hair blue. So, yeah, I'm not really sure. There you go, do you like that? Tell me if that gets too hard. Okay. <laughs> well, here we go, it's my new blue hair. <laughs> Okay. Awesome. Nice and bright. Look at this. We're at a little cafe that's in my local area and we've never gone here at all. And look how nice this looks. I replaced the smoked salmon with the mushrooms and these are like my favorite mushrooms or the little ones. And then the Blake has his classic meal he has at home but it's probably going to taste way better. <laughs> Guys, look how purple the bath goes. 
when I wash my hair in it, that's like 50% of the color, and then I use the purple shampoo again. Look at that. It literally looks like I've used a bath bomb. <laughs> And now I'm about to try this hair mask that I got from the Priceline hair care bag probably about a year ago now. I think I've tried it because I'm pretty sure they sell it at Kmart, but I'm excited to try it again because I remember this being quite cheap. So if I like it, I can buy more of them. My mind has been all over the place recently. I'm not necessarily unhappy. I'm actually feeling pretty damn happy knowing I'm leaving for Japan on Saturday. And today is Thursday. Like that just... <sighs> filled with so much joy, but I just have so much going through my head. Even just YouTube wise, there's so much to think about because as you would know, I'm filming travel vlogs while I'm away. They would already be up on my channel. Probably not all of them, but just some of them are ready. And there's just so much equipment I have to think about taking and like space I have to make on devices and stuff like that. Friday was going to be the last shoot for Book Burbia, but we were looking at the weather and turns out it's really rainy on Friday and very very windy and we're like nah because we're filming entirely outdoors and that's just not going to go well so we pushed it to when I come back from Japan so to distract my mind I've been cleaning a little bit it's not as urgent now that I know Friday's cleared up but if I'm motivated I might as well do it so I'm gonna actually turn on some music because I I don't care about tennis. Do any of you guys have Foxtel? I wanna know what music channel you guys listen to. Throwback, ooh, that might be nice. No, I know my hairdresser doesn't want me to do it. I'm going to be dying my own regrowth tonight. I just can't afford to get my regrowth redone. I don't wanna go much lower because that's where the purple and the color begins. But yeah, I just wanna do around there and around like the hairline because I took a photo of my dad recently and you can just see how like light my hair is becoming at the top and it just looks strange with the purple. So I'm gonna make that part dock again and I don't think I've ever used this one so that's exciting it was like eight dollars or something at the moment so I thought it would be worth trying 